Well, some of the world's richest men have been chasing the same thing for the past few years. And we have ignition. The race for space tourism is heating up as Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, Elon Musk's SpaceX, and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic are all getting ready to send passengers into space later this year. Can't believe I'm saying that. If one of them or all of them are successful, 2018 could be the year tourists finally become astronauts. Joining me now is someone I know is very excited about this. Is the co-host of Daily Planet, Dan Riskin. Thanks for being here again with us. Great to be here. I keep telling Discovery it's very important for them to spend the money to send me to space. I think so. As a tourist. They haven't been returning my emails just yet, but we'll see what happens. You're the first journalist in space. I think it's. I think it has to happen. It's the final frontier. I promise to do a, an interview with you from space if it does happen. I will hold you to that promise. All okay, right. first of all, can this actually happen this year? Yeah, I, that's what they're saying. I mean, things have been moving along really steadily. The, the the shift from governments sending us to space to private industry sending us to space has been an interesting one because you, we weren't totally sure how it was going to go down. It's so expensive. How can you possibly make money in a venture like that? And most of them Protocols, are just... Protocols, safeties, all of that. All of that. And there have been you know, accidents and, and there have been steps along the way that haven't gone as planned. But one of the great things that's come out of this is a new way of thinking about it, and that is to reuse rockets. And that's totally changed the economics of the whole thing. Mm. And for all the years that the U.S. and the USSR and Canada and other countries were doing things in space, they were just throwing their rockets away. Every time something took off, that big, huge rocket fell in the ocean and they left it. It's insane. I can't believe that's how they were doing things. Now they've come up with the technology to have these things come back down to earth so you can reuse them. And so that has been the big change. That's what's made the, the economics of the whole thing shift. And that has been the basis for the success of, of all three of these billionaires and their, and their, uh, their ventures into space. Are there similarities in each of their plans? Yeah, I mean, so uh, Blue Origin and, and uh, SpaceX, so that's uh, Bezos and Elon Musk, those ones both have the same sort of idea of a rocket that goes up, sends something into space, and then that rocket comes back down and lands on its bum, which is uh, it's something that is very difficult to do, but mm. with every successful launch, they get better and better at it. In fact, um, Blue Origin just did a test at the end of uh, last year, just in December, and I love it. They had a mannequin inside the, uh, the capsule, and they called it Mannequin Skywalker, which is, oh. like, so good, right? I mean, how did nobody think of that before? So anyway, I mean, so they did the launch. They had it come back down. So they're very close. They're very close to ready. They think it's going to happen in the next 18 months, having a person actually go to space. Um, and Elon Musk has been sending rockets up, and he, they already did a launch this year, uh, sending a spy satellite out. Their half of it went well. The spy satellite, something went wrong, and they're being very secretive about what happened. But it doesn't appear that that was SpaceX's fault. It looks like they did their half correctly. So things are coming along nicely, and all three of those billionaires are saying that things are going to happen, if not this year, very early into the next year. Who is the closest to winning this race? Well, if you ask Richard Branson who's the closest, he says Elon Musk is the closest. So when well, he does. He does. So, so I think, and I think that's the general idea. Because... Uh, Elon Musk is working so closely with the International Space Station, and he's going to be sending, he's already sending payloads up there, and now the next big step is for him to just put a person where he's been putting payloads mm. and send a person up to the International Space Station. And this would be great. It's great for private industry, but also I think for the U.S., it's been a little bit embarrassing that it's been Soyuz capsules to get people to the space station. Like, sure. we can't get, the, for Americans, of course, we're a separate country, but Americans have been saying, we don't have the technology to get our own astronauts to space. We have to keep going to Russia and having them do it for us. I think that's a little bit embarrassing. So I think the U.S. is going to be very happy to have SpaceX and Elon Musk sending people up to the space station soon. I was asking this yesterday. Is this... Is, this isn't about making a profit. This is about ego for these guys. It, there's definitely an ego piece of it. Um, I, you know, when one of them has a successful launch, you often see the other ones scrambling to get on the air and, and make some statements so they can show they're still in the race. I think there is ego. But I also believe that for uh, these billionaires, they see themselves as I'm um, almost like biblical figures. I mean, they, they see themselves as so important to society. And I mm. think that... They're stepping in where the governments have sort of failed. It's like, it's like the governments were in the space race in the 60s, and then they kind of dropped the ball after they went to the moon a few times. And it's been slow going ever since. And I think these billionaires see themselves as people that are carrying humanity into space. And they talk about it like it's a, a great thing for humanity and that they're carrying the, the torch of, of all of us. And, and I think it's true that the, the tourists going to space early are going to be, if not billionaires, millionaires. 
But, uh, you know, the rest of us aren't that far behind. It's possible that, you know, someday you and I might actually go to space. It sounds crazy now, but in, you know, two decades, maybe it won't sound crazy. Uh, Bezos, Branson, or Musk, who do you think is going to win this race? Uh, my money's on Musk, but uh, you never bet against any of those three. So I'm not putting any money on the table at all. <laughs> Dan, good to have you here. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot.